first thing that comes in here is uh, Israel Freeman, who writes, I also felt Komodo wasn't Sarah's killer based on the voice and her face. Do you think it was Rajal Ghul? Um, I don't think it was Rajal Ghul because what I said last week was when she turns to whoever it was that killed her, she looked calm. She's like, oh, what are you doing here? You know, it, it wasn't panic, it wasn't fear, it wasn't anything like that. And then the three O's go in. And then, of course, we have Oliver saying, because remember, she went back into the League of Assassins fold, and Oliver pointed out they don't kill their own. Mm -hmm. So I, I never thought it was her. I, I'm starting to think it was Tommy. Oh. I'm starting to think it was Tommy. I, I really am. I, that is, I think now that they're reintroducing him to the show, what could be the biggest heart rip for Oliver? Do you have any idea what the motivation would be? Nope, no clue. <laughs> I, I, the only thing I can think of is Daddy Merlin took Tommy's body to the League of Assassins. In this universe, they have the Lazarus Pit. Brought him back, trained him as a killer, and I, 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 have, I don't know the whys. Okay? <laughs> don't bother me with the details. I don't Sorry. know the whys. It's a crazy ass theory. But I am really starting to believe it's Tommy because you can scratch Thea off because she's on the other side of the planet. Scratch Daddy Merlin off it's on the Komodo. other side of the planet. It's not Komodo. Uh, I don't think it was Deathstroke. Uh, I don't think, some people want to suggest it was maybe Huntress. But I, I don't see that as being within her character. She's just going to come and just cold-blooded murder uh, somebody like that, like somebody like Sarah. Uh, so I don't think she would have done that. We're running out of options. I think it was Tommy. I'm going I'm to go on record right now. I think it was Tommy. And uh, maybe I'll change my mind by next week. But do you guys have any other theories? I, I personally don't think it was Tommy. I feel that if Tommy does come back resurrected or from the Lazarus pit, he might end up being a good guy. And that's something I'm hoping for. But I definitely do think it's someone that she is familiar with because of her reaction yeah, to, absolutely. to um, his presence or her presence. But I have no idea who it could be. My yeah. wild ass guess was going to be the guy we can't remember his name from the flashbacks. No motivation behind it except <laughs> we're already seeing him. We're introduced to him in the flashbacks. Maybe there's something, some story that they're going to build up. Um, I just wanted to go back to the point that you made about Komodo, though. Okay. Because I completely agree that I feel like they, I wish they would have elaborated. He's not dead, so they could potentially bring him back. That's but true. already sure, the way yeah. the foundation they set for him, it didn't meet my expectations for him. I mean, mm. having, I read Kill Machine, so I've seen Komodo in the comics, and he's just a much more badass character. So when people were telling us that he potentially was a killer, I was like, yes, this could potentially be a really good villain for Oliver because he is a formidable opponent in the comics. And so the fact that they didn't do that kind of sucked. Um, the fact that it's not him now kind of sucks. I kind of think it's either the guy in the flashbacks or I'm just going to throw a wild ass guess that it's a female just because of where she was shot. The angle she was shot in. Because of the boobs? Because <laughs> the boobs. Probably because of the boobs. <laughs>